Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from MobileSMSPK.net and today I will do a comparison between QMobile Noise J7 and QMobile Noise Z14. So let's get started. I have already made review video of QMobile Noise J7 and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile J7 is available in Pakistan for Rs 18,500 and Z14 is available in Rs 25,500. Both phones are actually made by Gioni and Gioni model of J7 is P7 Max and Gioni model of Z14 is S6 Pro. I will do this comparison in different rounds like round 1 for design, round 2 for display and so on. So if any phone wins in that round, I will add one number to its score and this will help us to decide which phone is the winner at the end of this comparison. So in round 1, we will look into the design of both phones. Build quality of J7 is not cheap by any means but after holding J7 and Z14 side by side, I can feel that how premium Z14 build quality is. Let me show you all sides of both phones. Both phone has 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. Same goes for right side of the phone, both J7 and Z14 has volume rockers and power button. On bottom, J7 has micro USB port and microphone and Z14 has microphone, USB type C port and speaker grill. Nothing on the left on J7 but there is a hybrid SIM card tray on Z14. There is 13 megapixel camera, LED flash and speaker grill on the back of J7 while there is secondary noise cancellation mic, 13 megapixel camera and single LED flash on the back of Z14. Back cover of J7 is made of shiny plastic. It reflects light and gives cool light effects like Huawei Honor 8 but it is also fingerprint magnet. On the other hand, C14 has unibody design with chamfered edges and looks very elegant. J7 has two dedicated SIM card slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use both SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. But on Z14, there is hybrid slot, so you can use either two SIMs or one SIM and micro SD card at a time. Even though J7 is made of plastic, but it is heavier than Z14. Let me show you the weight of both devices. You can notice that Z14 is 14 gram lighter than J7 and don't forget that Z14 has bigger battery than J7 which is quite remarkable. Qmobile Z14 has overall better design so in round 1 Z14 is the winner. Let's move to round 2 which is display. J7 has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution while Z14 has full HD IPS display with 1080p resolution. Z14 screen is made of 2.5D curved glass but unfortunately there is no Gorilla Glass protection. It is quite obvious that Z14 screen is better than J7 and you can clearly notice that as well. Z14 screen is more sharp and vibrant and viewing angles are also impressive. Once again Z14 came out as a winner of round 2. Now let's move to next round. And in this round, we will look into the battery performance of both phones. J7 has 3100 mAh battery, while Z14 has 3130 mAh battery. As mentioned before, Z14 has Full HD display which takes in more juice out of the battery. I only managed to get 3.5 hours screen on time with maximum brightness on Z14. While J7 has only HD display. That's why battery performance of J7 is impressive and it provides solid 5 hours of screen on time. So the winner of this round is J7. Now let's move to next round and this round we will test speaker quality of both phones. As I mentioned in my physical overview of the phone, J7 has back firing speaker while Z14 has bottom firing speaker. So chances are Z14 speaker will perform well. So let me show you.
Z14 speaker is not only loud but sound coming from it has more bass as well. Again Z14 is the winner of this round. Z14 is maintaining good lead so far but does it continue to do so? Let's check out in next round. And in this round we will compare the benchmark scores of both phones. J7 is powered by 2.2 GHz octa-core processor and 3 GB of RAM while Z14 has 1.8 GHz octa-core processor and 4 GB of RAM. So let's see which phone performs better in benchmark scores. Here is the into 2 scores of both phones. And here is the Geekbench single and multi-core scores. Both N22 and Geekbench scores on J7 are better than Z14. So this sound goes to J7. Let's move to next round in which we will see the boot up time of both phones. Let me boot up both phones on same time. Z14 is the winner of this round as it boots up much faster than J7. Now let's move to final round. In this round we will do a speed test of both phones. I will open multiple apps and games on both phones on same time. I will also check memory management of both phones by switching apps and games loaded into the memory. So let's begin the test. I have opened several apps and not a single app is loaded faster on Z14. Now let's open some GameLoft games to see if Z14 can catch up J7. All the games are also loading faster on J7. Let me check memory and see that all the apps are still stored in the memory. It is looking like both the phones can handle multiple apps in memory quite well. So the winner of this round is J7. 2.2 GHz processor and 720p resolution display helps it to outperform Z14 in this round. Here is the final scoreline. Z14 wins that comparison with narrow margin. So that was the comparison between Qmobile J7 and Z14. I hope this video helps you to decide which phone belongs to you if you are planning to buy any one of these phones. I will bring more videos like this in future. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. If you like this video, please hit the like button. 
and if you have any questions feedbacks or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below for more information please do visit my website